with the political world wondering how open are South Carolina voters to open marriage Gingrich style, it is worth considering the following statistics. Census Bureau data shows that people living in northeastern states have lower marriage and divorce rates than the national average, and people living in southern states are more likely to have higher marriage and divorce rates. And Harvard Business School Assistant Professor Benjamin Edelman showed in a 2009 study that credit card receipts from a major online adult entertainment provider finds those states that do consume the most porn tend to be more conservative and religious. Eight of the top 10 pornography consuming states gave their electoral votes to John McCain in the presidential election last time around. Joining me now, the last words, senior open marriage analyst, D.L. Hughley. He will be performing <laughs> at Caroline's on Broadway next week on Wednesday and Thursday, but he's here with us tonight. D.L., when it comes to open marriage, mm -hmm. I needed to turn to the longest running married man I know in America, because right. I don't know Ron Paul. <laughs> right. He's been married for about 75 right. years. Right. You're 25? 20, it'd be 26 years February 20th. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You get less time than that for murder. Yeah, you do. In, in many states. In many that states. That is very, very true. But it's it's not suffering. It's no. a joy. It, it? Well, no, to, to tell you that's a joy every day <laughs> is not. But I think that uh, I, I married the only woman I possibly could. But I, I was watching the debates, and it's just amazing. Like, uh, so Newt Gingrich wanted open marriage. He buys a lot of jewelry, and he has a lot of women. That's not a presidential candidate. That's a rapper. <laughs> I, I may not vote for him, but I'm sure I'm going to buy his album. Don't expect to find a rapper on the Republican debate <laughs> right, stage. Right, uh, right. Yeah, it's um, the, the, uh, the... Now, here's the problem. He stepped into it a little bit tonight. He was d doing great with that right. thing where he said, no, I don't want to talk about it, but now I will a little bit. Right. And he got the standing ovation. And then he got to the point of saying, it's not true which has provoked this from Marianne Gingrich. Uh, Terry Moran at ABC News is tweeting that Marianne Gingrich said, my story is the truth. If he had really changed, he could have stepped up tonight and said he was sorry. He never has. So now he got himself in Newt a Newt Gingrich is fight. the kind of man that will lie when the truth will do. The bottom line is uh, that if, uh, if, in fact, when a man would leave a woman, the mother of his children, when she is struggling with a life-threatening disease, then he has forfeited the right forever to say the word despicable. Now, if he would leave a woman that bore his children, who he knows intimately, what do you think he would feel about a country of 300 million people that he doesn't even know? We've got, we've got breaking news that we have to cut into right now. President Obama in, uh, at the Apollo Theater tonight, uh, and we have breaking news video of the singing president. And then to know that uh, Reverend Al Green was here. I'm so in love with you. Those guys didn't think I would do it. I told you I was going to do it. And the Sandman did not come out. Okay, Mitt Romney, beat that on Let the debate Let me tell you something. Stage. You know what's funny? Um, white people voted for George Bush because they wanted to have a beer with him. I'm going to vote for that man because I want to play beard with him. It's the same There thing. you go. That's it. He locked up D.L. Hughley's <laughs> vote tonight. D.L. Hughley gets the last word.